Hiya, Rick here. What are the actual Starfleet divisions and how do they correlate to the uniform colours? It seems easy to point to Sciences, Operations and Command and say there you go, done, but the three primary colour uniforms are only the beginning. The myriad of jobs in Starfleet equal more than just three arbitrarily appointed primary colours, so what actually goes into what uniform you wear? Sciences. The blue uniforms, aside from when they were silver in the 2250s and that grey beige phase Starfleet went through in the 2270s and the red phase in the 2280s, asking a scientist what they do and receiving the answer science doesn't really help. So looking at a blue uniform doesn't really tell you much about the career path of the person wearing it, especially in Starfleet when things like quantum mechanics and warp theory are taught to every cadet. The most basic breakdown we can first look to is medical or other sciences. The former used to have its own division and even uniform before being lumped in with the rest of those nerds. Despite this, all the healers of Starfleet are bundled into the medical division of Starfleet Science. General science breaks down further into all the differing arms of scientific study from physics, chemistry, research and development, quantum theory, archaeology and so on. Needless to say, many in Starfleet joined to pursue a scientific career and end up in the blue. However, as we will see repeatedly, there is often quite a bit of crossover in the divisions based on what your specialisation is. For example, someone who works with artificial intelligences could have started out in the operations divisions before moving over into a designated scientific field and changing uniforms. Plus, Starfleet's R&D is often made up of equal operations and sciences personnel who both theorise, then build an experimental device. Operations Gold uniforms in the 24th century onwards, red in the early days. Like sciences, this can be broken down into obvious dividers, as different as night and day. Security, engineering and operations. These three things are generally considered what is necessary to keep a spaceship, starbase or fleet for that matter running. Those who train to neutralise threats, enforce and protect are designated as Starfleet Security and encompass most aspects of Starfleet's defence. They are the reason Starfleet has to routinely deny it is a military and include armoury officers and tacticians. Operations and engineers are the techies, on par with the science divisions and they see a lot of crossover. The line between sciences and these guys is a little blurred but basically it seems to boil down to if it is a job that is vital to the continual functioning of the ship then you are in operations. If it is the reason that the ship needs to be functional you're probably in the sciences. Engineering divisions deal strictly with the workings of a vessel, whether that is maintaining them, improving them or straight up building them. Operations are generally those who manage graphs, spreadsheets and compile sensor reports. Command, the red or gold in days gone by. They are the supervisors. Command division personnel received training centred on leadership skills, tactical thinking and decision making and it's not always as glamorous as it seems, however, as the command roles also included vast swathes of administrative work, logistics, divisions and accounting. So just because a person is in a command uniform doesn't necessarily mean they're aiming for a ship command. The more exciting roles that the command division encompasses are those on the paths to be captain someday and strategic officers. Again, as with all the prior divisions, there's a lot of overlap. Strategy easily encroaches into the security and operations divisions and pilots could be from either operations or command backgrounds. Another brief aside, just because you took a command training course or passed the bridge test does not mean you had to transition over to the command division, it just meant that now you are allowed to do so. This means that many who are now technically in the command division may have had a long history in another department such as Catherine Janeway being from Sciences, Jonathan Archer being a pilot or Riker from Operations. Few are the captains who set out on the command path from day one and made it all the way. The most iconic being Captain James T. Kirk. Even then, he spent time as a weapons officer which could either place him in security operations or tactical command. 
So that basically covers the colour-coded divisions of Starfleet, and I hope that helped clarify some things. Almost everyone in Starfleet has training in several of these divisions, because you can't really do one part of the job without a solid grounding in the others, and certain professions end up leaning into one side or the other when it comes to change of uniform, such as a strategic specialist. So come on then, what job would end up placing you in all three divisions and entitle you to don any colour uniform you wanted? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I've been Rick and I'll see you next time for another lore video. Goodbye.